Hey everybody, it's Jen. So, I want to welcome you to something new. It's a little mini series. I love my time with you on Mondays. I love our Monday mornings. Um, but I want to have a little more directed Friday mini series with you, and it starts today. And it's called Simple and Free Fridays. I want to tell you why, first of all. Um, if you've been hearing me talk about it, you know, this comes out on March 23rd. So we're almost there. Simple and Free, which is a social experiment, originally called Seven, um, that I went through a decade ago. And this is the absolute updated version of it. Revised, um, reimagined, tons of new research included. Um, I want to tell you why I renamed it Simple and Free. Um, why, why the rebrand? It's the words. Those two words are so powerful to me. They have so much meaning to me. They're, they're North Stars, if you will. Um, this idea of simple, gosh. I cannot be the only one who feels like everything around us is just too much. Do you know what I mean? Running the gamut, too much stuff, too much spending, too much waste, too much stress, too many screens, too much noise. I know I'm not alone. I know because we talk about this a lot. And this idea of finding a way to live a little lighter on this earth, finding a way to work in simplicity into categories that have become far too complicated full of excess is appealing to me. It's appealing to me. Like what freedom would that be? Which is the second word, free. Gosh, I had that in my last title. When I wrote Fierce, Free and Full of Fire, it's just a word that continues to draw me in. Um, because here's what I've learned in my own personal march toward freedom. It always comes in a way that I didn't expect. So this whole idea of being free, free in my soul, free in my mind, free in my life, free in my choices, free in my relationships, I, I tend to secure freedom through these weird side doors, you know, ones that I didn't expect. Like, for example, I didn't expect to experience such a huge degree of freedom by trying out an experiment in which I prioritize less instead of more. Just what would that look like? You know, what would it mean if I assigned the idea of less to this, 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 and this? What I discovered is that these categories over here, my favorite categories, relationships, generosity, compassion, connection, um, these got to all become more when these were less. And it was freedom. So simple and free is... Everything that I learned, this wild experiment where I took these seven ideas and boiled them down to just seven options for almost the better part of a year. It comes out March 23rd. So, I wanted to have our own little social experiment of sorts. Uh, believe me, this is not hard, you guys. Um, I promise. But here's what it is. This starts next week. I am calling it the give away, the give away. And maybe not in the way that you normally see on social media. This is gonna be fun. Um, it's launching on Monday. But first, um, I wrote these words in Simple and Free, and I'm curious to know if any of these apply to you. If they do, if they do, you might be in the right spot right now. This is what I wrote. You buy repeats of things you already own because you can't keep track of 300,000 things. You have unworn clothes, possibly with tags still on in your closet. You have clothes and shoes that haven't graced your body in two years and your family does too. You have a basement or attic with furniture, toys, home accessories, small appliances, electronics, Electronics that will literally never see the light of day again. You have a storage unit with the same. You have more than one junk drawer. 
You have zero idea what's in your pantry because there's too much to remember. If so, welcome to being normal in America. If you're not raising your hand on any or all of the above, you're the exception. But if you're the rest of us, it's okay. We don't even know what we have. Okay, that's in here. So the, this challenge that I'm rolling out today is about to change that. The give away. And simple and free, when I tackled the month of possessions, I gave away seven things a day that I owned for a month. So that totaled 210 things. And trust me, <laughs> I still had plenty more to give away after that. We, I far exceeded that number. So we're starting a little slower here, but here is my challenge to you. Give away one thing that you own every day. One thing, starting Monday. Clothes, handbags, shoes are the obvious choice here. Um, likewise, the re-gifting pile, but I'm gonna challenge you to go deeper too. I mean, maybe it's a big piece of furniture, maybe it's a dishes or a kitchen appliance that you either don't use or kind of have two of. Um, or electronics, and a laptop that's not getting a lot of views, iPads collecting dust. Um, get your kids involved and streamline the toy section of your home, right? Um, and then it gets really exciting because we get to be very intentional about what we do with our stuff. We can donate to a local local shelter. We can give to a neighbor, a friend who needs it. Um, we can call a school in our communities that may be under-resourced and say, what do you need that I might have, right? And then, starting Monday, I'd like a little show and tell. I'd love to see what you are giving away. I'm going to show you Monday. I'm gonna do this too, right alongside of you. Um, so we'll, we can post our pics, tag me, and hashtag simple and free giveaway so I can share what this brilliant community might do together, right? Um, how we are giving away collectively, uh, which is both an act of generosity and an act of simplicity. It's a twofer, okay? It's a giveaway where you don't necessarily get anything, but you do get to give. And I'm just telling you, you are gonna get more in return than you expected. And also remember this, um, this comes out in less than two weeks, but if you pre-order Simple and Free, I'm giving everyone a sneak peek in one of my favorite chapters in the whole book, the one on media and technology. So as a pre-order, you get the full chapter, you get the audio version too. You know, I read the whole thing. I re Oops, sorry, I keep banging that. Um, I read the whole book for the audio version for all my audio listeners. That might be the way you want to pre-order it, which counts as a pre-order, of course. Um, and then you'll get the guided journal of 30 prompts to walk you through that particular conversation. Um, I just, I don't want to wait till March 23rd. So. You can get, you can figure all that out. You can find all that information at jenhatmaker.com slash simple and free. Okay, that's where all that, all your um, access for pre-order stuff is. And so let's give some stuff away. Let's give some stuff away. Let's do it. Uh, I'm tired of, I'm tired of having all my things just own me, right? Um, this sort of doomed cloud over my head constantly. It's too much spilling out everywhere, unused. Let's share it. Let's give it away. Let's put it in the hands of somebody who could really use it, who could really need it. Um, and then let's figure out what simplicity and freedom actually looks like in our lives. It may come in surprising packages. And I can't wait to talk to you about this. So more next Friday on this, but Monday, tune in with me for Mondays with Jen. I'm going to talk through what I'm giving away and where I'm going to get started. I got you guys just show up on Monday. Okay. Can't wait. Can't wait to have this conversation with you over the next few weeks. Um, it is exhilarating. It is exciting. I can promise you it has nothing to do with guilt. So don't worry about that. Just leave that behind. This is all about freedom. All right. See you Monday.